What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and welcome to another video following my journey to find the perfect daily driver. And behind me is the, the plane, no, I'm not really. I can hear Archie in his car. I am driving the Mercedes A45 AMG owned by Archie wrapped in a satin electric blue. It looks absolutely stunning and this is the brand new 2016 facelifted one. I'm going to find out so much more information about the car. I've driven them before and they are epic little pocket rockets. Four wheel drive and sound phenomenal and go like you wouldn't believe. So this is the smallest AMG and could sit quite perfectly alongside my AMG GTS so I'm intrigued to drive this specific one that has been customized by Archie himself so let's jump in and ask whether I can drive it all right all right can I drive it in my car yeah yeah go ahead Ooh, is this the same size is this the same size as my I think it's the same size wheel it's exactly the same isn't it yeah this is yeah, all about is, like can you can you do it every single day and uh Boom. In Sport Plus. In Sport Plus. The only way to drive this car is, it is, is in Sport Plus. We're just going to go for a, a brief drive. The A45 has been one of the most suggested cars. Has that, it really? That, that I replaced the Audi A1. Really? In. And I think it's because obviously it's keeping it within the AMG family. I have mentioned before that I kind of want to move away from brands that I'm familiar with. Yeah. Um, but. We have to talk about the A45 AMG yeah, it because is. it's a mental car. I love this car. Man. And obviously this is your daily. Yeah, this is my daily. And I I was looking at a decision to basically what car do I buy as a daily driver. And then in the end, this car was just, I don't know, the moment I drove it, heard it, yeah. and things like that, it just, I, and people didn't really have them as well. Yeah. I don't see loads of them. I mean, some people might say I'm wrong, but you don't really see that many around. There's not, there isn't that the, the, many. The facelifted model, you know, yeah, like of all yeah, the yeah, mods yeah. on it, yeah. and it had everything on it. So and tell me what this car has got, like, let's go through brake horsepower, let's go through options, let's go through, like... So, 380 brake. 380 brake in the size, going, uh, and it's this big. Yeah, yeah, and you can you can tune that to whatever, so that's upcoming, I'm not going to ruin it yet. And, um, but then, uh, obviously, it's got everything that you want now. Hear the road. You can also hear the road. Um, basically, all the like, even like the hat, it's got everything that your car probably has, like yeah. all the blind spot stuff, blind spot assist, driving yeah, assist. Yeah, and even at night, do you have the ambient lighting thing? Yeah, it's yeah. Got, it, it's, so, it's fully kitted okay, out. Awesome. It's got everything you need, um, all the latest. So, this is the yeah. perfect example. I've tested the Audi S3, yeah, four doors. The Audi sort of performance car, obviously the A45 goes up against the RS3, but I've yeah. discounted the RS3 because, firstly, buying a second hand one, the new one comes out, so it's going to be facelifted, it's going to have more power, it's probably going to be more competitive to this. Yeah. Because the old S3 is slightly underpowered compared to the uh, yeah. 380 brake, if I'm correct, which I'm probably not. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you can get your foot down up there. Yeah, let's go. Go on, son. I love that you're the owner of this car, you can get your foot down there. <laughs> oh, Makes yes. a nice noise. It does make you a good can, noise. And it's only a two, and it's oh. only a two litre engine. I see why you have the uh, the window open as well. Because it makes you, a massive difference. You get, yeah. the, you get the enhanced pops and bangs yeah. and everything. Yeah, yeah, you can hear it. Just got in the car. <laughs> I'm just like, go on, just hammer it. <laughs> Do you know what I want though? Like, I'm hoping with the exhaust upgrade is that um, on the down changes, like your car, obviously, you get a mad noise on the yes, down change. Yeah. That's what I'm hoping I'll get more of a noise. Sure you oh, you didn't get it then? Oh, there it was. Yeah. I love the fact it's got five doors. Yeah, I do yeah, like yeah. The fact, like, I'm starting to I'm starting to think that five doors is the way forward because daily. Yeah, my Audi A1 like, yeah. like the seats. It was really annoying, and 
because they look cool in the two doors, they look cooler. Yeah, they look But cool. practicality wise, I know. Like, it is Open the door, check the bags. Massive in. difference, makes a massive Going difference. Going to the gym. I'm just going to put it in comfort mode now because I just want to sort of feel the difference in the suspension because we are on a, a bumpy country road, one yeah. that I probably won't be driving on every day. So it's not a fair test to be driving around in Sports Plus. But it does, everything cuts out, it's always yeah. always and, if, and, it, and, and that, that's what I love about this car. You can have the craziness of ragging it around in Sport Plus, yeah. it's fun. Then you go on a motorway and cut everything off and just chill. And you can just cruise. And this has obviously got cruise control, right? Yeah, and it's got the, um, you know, when you got behind the car and then it yes. slows you down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got, oh, so it's got um, this Tronic yeah. cruise control. That's sick. Yeah. <laughs> that is. Your, your car's very cool. Uh, no, it doesn't. Does I thought it not? I did. Modern technology, modern technology, because obviously I started this journey with the Porsche Carrera way out of my budget, but the pinnacle of daily sports cars. This is like moving towards the hot hatch end rather than a sports car, but it's got the sports car performance. Yeah. So you get the best of both worlds. You get a small little nippy car to drive around town and stuff. Yeah. And it is, it is definitely a good option. It is a good option. I, I can see why everyone has been saying it to you. Yeah, yeah. And it because obviously it sits with the AMG family, it sits next to my AMG GTS. It sits really nice. Yeah. And it's just it's just awkward because I knew that I was going to be filming this video <laughs> and I knew that I was going to be discounting it from the hunt of my daily driver but I never really thought about discounting a car that I could potentially buy with the owner sat next to it and obviously you bought it for so many reasons yeah. that make this car such a perfect daily yeah uh, but I am still going back to when I was driving the Audi and it's just so familiar. Like the screen here, all of the dials there. Like Does it the feel like- The steering wheel yeah, is I know. exactly the same. Do you feel like you're kind of in your car, but you're not? Do you know that make sense? Uh, well, or is it, it totally different? It is, it is different because all of the center console, it is different. Um, but it feels like you're in the same, like you're the same know, family. I, it's yeah, like, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm still like it. part of the whole, yeah. I, I feel like I'm, I'm still within the same family and it was one thing that I kind of, I want to move away from it because I think it would be so cool to like go, oh, what does that button do? Like, and have it on camera. Yeah. Because it's kind of like a journey. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so I'm testing a few cars. You're many, many. Oh. <laughs> I thought because it in comfort. No, 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 you still have to go back and then uh, press the end again. Okay, yeah. okay. Have you looked at BMs or have you is it, is it, is it, um, it, has it? I've had a lot of suggestions for M2, M3, yeah. and M4. Which are kind of like the obvious suggestions. The obvious suggestions but I mean yeah. like Expensive, yeah. <laughs> the expensive option. <laughs> like, very, very yeah. expensive. And the M2, obviously, it's so new. And me, both me and you actually, we drove it, didn't we? We yeah, shot a video yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. I I'm wasn't wowed by it. I wasn't wowed by it. Um, we both got out and we were like, yeah, it's cool. It is cool. But is it worth 53 grand? Yeah, that's it. That's when it's steep. And then when you look at like M3, M4, and you can get them second hand now for like 45 grand, like, Five grand cheaper, and you yeah. can get a much better version. And do you know what I think with the M2? CSL version is going to come out. Yeah, which is just going to yeah. trump it. It's, gonna trump it's probably it. going to trump the M3 and M4. Yeah. And M5 because and apparently M6. it's going to have an M4 engine in it. Yeah, mental. I want to buy a car. This is a Supercars London exclusive. <laughs> come on, guys. By Christmas. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. So I want to get one. I want to get one soon. And if we think about it, we're in sort of mid October now. You're running out of time. I'm running out of time. Do you want to buy this? <laughs> <laughs> we're just I'm exchanging just, money. Yeah. It's like, no, I just no, noticed no. the headroom around here. Yeah. Isn't that great? The, yeah, but when That's we a good test. That was that's if you shunt it. You don't want to get to that point. Yeah. So you're fine. If you want, if you want a daily, I, I mean, this is I, I would say better than the S3. Yeah. Uh, first impressions. First impressions are the interior is bang on, but like the yeah. interior is wicked. Yeah. Obviously, all of the tech that you've got. Yeah. All the all of the tech that you've got on this car again yeah. helps with people that are either, either lazy or just want to cruise and on the motorway. And depreciation. The depreciation is strong, isn't it? On yeah. These? Really strong. Like Not for bad. a for a hatchback, really strong. Obviously, the this is the facelifted one. So when you look at the non facelifted ones that have got slightly less power and yeah. probably less spec and have the old headlights and tail lights and front bumper and back bumper and all that I think sort they depreciate quite quick. They do, but that's because the facelift came out. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. 
for, for like again going back to the M2 versus the M2 CSL, the M2 will start dropping when the CSL starts. Exactly. They start feeding into the market. Yeah, and it's just so frustrating trying to work out like the right car to buy based on what you like, but then obviously what's going to be good at keeping some of your money. And I know that car, all car well. 99% of cars yeah. depreciate, so you can't really look at it like that, but it's always nice to try and find a car that you know that your money is pretty safe. Depreciates slower. <laughs> yeah, slower. <laughs> than buying Not just a... like, yeah, I remember when Sam, I was doing his F-Type video, he was like, I love depreciation. <laughs> <laughs> so you want something which can just, you can drive it. may, it, may have already done is... its depreciation. Because you're not gonna buy a new one. Yeah. So it may have already taken it, it's already going to take a big hit. Yeah, so maybe it's a case of trying to find the right car that's already done the majority of its depreciating, so that when I come in, I swoop in. You just swoop in, you pick it up. Pick up, pick up a second-hand car, and I don't lose any money on it. Like, that's the dream. That is the dream. That is the dream, and I think that is uh, a great way to end this very relaxing cruise. Like, I've had a bit of a blast. Yeah. Um, it has been very, very kind of you to allow me to drive this car. I would still like purpose. you to do a launch control before we round off. All right, okay. <laughs> Let's do a launch control. Should I do Here. a launch control? Here. Yeah. And then sign off as I'm doing a launch control. So set it up. How do I do a launch control? Okay, so both paddles in. Left, yeah, you, same as you. There we go. Uh, exactly the same, right. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Give it a thumbs up. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you soon. <laughs> My voice went all over the place there. That's nuts. Four wheel drive. It's fun. That is good. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs>